Our top story tonight, the Muskogee County School Board passes the SPLOS referendum and now voters will decide if they want to reinstate the sales tax. The special purpose local option sales tax or SPLOS would add 1% to your purchases in Muskogee County and the tax is expected to generate more than $190 million over five years for school improvement projects. The board approved the referendum tonight, but not without a fight. We have been hoodwinked in the past. We've been, we've been paying up the kazoo. That was the voice of opposition at the Muskogee County School Board meeting. Those opposed to passage of the SPLOST referendum urged board members to vote against it, saying school officials need to be more accountable about how monies in the past have been spent. Board newcomer John Thomas among those calling for a top-to-bottom audit of school district funding before sending the issue to voters. Because I feel like money that could be spent on educating our children, money that should be getting into the classroom, is being spent... Uh, I won't say frivolously, but uh, inefficiently. But the overwhelming majority of the folks in attendance were there to support SPLOS, like Lisa Jenkins, who said money from the tax will help, among other things, children with autism. Every item on the SPLOS has a child with a need, and they're waiting on that need to be met. I personally am supporting the SPLOS for Autism, which is number two on the wish list which we will gain 24 classrooms. Fellow board newcomer Kia Chambers spoke out in favor of SPLOS, saying it's something the board needs to do for future generations. When we're talking about an audit, we're talking about things, how we spent money in the past. When we're talking about the SPLOS, we're talking about the possibility of what we can do and give to our kids for the future. In the end, the board passed the referendum, sending the decision now to Muskogee County voters. Superintendent David Lewis says the decision is a victory for Muskogee County children. I'm excited about the outcome of the uh, vote uh, moving forward with our SPLOST for our students. Uh, I'm very excited about the potential it has for uh, uh, our students, our district, and our community going forward. Now, the previous SPLOS expired at the end of 2014. Among the projects slated for renewed SPLOS funding would be a new Spencer High School and improved programming for autistic children. Voters would decide the issue in a referendum vote on March 17th.